Optical fibre networks underpin the way we communicate and access information. For example, during the recent lockdowns, if you can imagine what it would have been like without video on demand, without Zoom meetings, all of those things are enabled by optical fibre networks. The fibres transmit data from one place to another by sending pulses of infrared light. But in order to travel long distances, they need something else. As light propagates through an optical fibre, it loses some of its power and eventually becomes too weak to be able to detect. However, if you can put in there an optical amplifier, which is equivalent to like an electronic amplifier but works for light, then you can keep boosting that signal up and send it much further distances. Dr. Simon Poole was part of the team at the UK's University of Southampton that created the erbium-doped fibre amplifier in the mid-1980s. It was a game changer reducing the cost of long-distance fibre systems. There are now millions of these optical amplifiers around the globe in every network, in every optical fibre network that exists out there. After moving to Australia, Dr Paul founded the Optical Fibre Technology Centre at the University of Sydney and later the Australian Photonics Cooperative Research Centre. What really inspires me about science is not just science for science's sake, but taking that science and turning it into something useful. He describes himself as more of an entrepreneur than a scientist these days, backing startup companies as they commercialise ideas born in labs. And it's that process of taking an idea and then proving it out into the marketplace and selling and creating companies based on that that really excites me about science. It was the same thinking that drove his work in optical networks, the pursuit of advancing our common knowledge for the sake of humanity. Without that, we would still be working at a subsistence farming level. We wouldn't have the high degree of technology, the high degree of travel, the high degree of communication and the quality of life that we do these days.